Hello and welcome to Dirt Oval in the Arca Car. We're at Knoxville. First time the Arca Car has ever done Dirt Oval in official racing. Um, I'm excited to be a part of this. Um, you know, something that um, going in we were hoping would be part of the future plans for future Arca schedules. Um, unfortunately, it seems like that's a little bit in question right now because we've got a lot of people exploiting some wall riding tactics and exposing some of the shortcomings of Dirt Oval on iRacing. And so questions have been floated, well, should we reconsider our plans to put Dirt on our schedules in the future? And I'm a little torn on that. But for now, let's worry about qualifying. I, uh, I'm not good on Dirt Oval, if anyone has ever wondered. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm overdriving everything and being terrible. One more lap. Dirt Oval is my worst discipline on iRacing by far. I've got about 2,000 iRating on Dirt Oval, and that's about a thousand lower than my next lowest dirt road, which is just above 3,000. <laughs> I just, I never quite figured this stuff out all too well. And especially when it comes to stock cars here on dirt. Never been all too great for me. So, we're gonna see how this goes. I fully expect it to be messy. It sounds like there's a huge lack of respect going on. Um, Dirt Oval is just, no one seems to take it seriously, unfortunately. You can get away with way too much when it comes to bouncing off walls and things. Part of the reason I don't do it as much, uh, I just can't stand all the wall riding and things. But, like I said, definitely wanted to be a part of this. And, uh, still undecided how I feel about whether I want that, whether we want this on future schedules or not, um, I'm leaning towards you know, let's let's keep it, let's give it a fair chance, you know, um, you know, when gathering data, like in a scientific kind of way, you know, just take one result and make a conclusion, you get a bigger sample size, and. To me, it just would be a shame to throw this concept out, even if just temporarily, um, after one questionable result. But it is clear Dirt Oval is not perfect right now. Oh my Jesus, what am I doing? Don't give myself 2x turn. Well, thank you. Um, we're going to see wall riding, we're going to pe see people doing terrible slider lines, we'll probably get taken out. Um, just, there's a really, the culture around Dirt Oval is really bad, it seems like, on iRacing. Right now. That's too bad. But, I'm leaning towards, you know, give it a fair shot, you know, these, you know, wall riding, the way people do, is an exploit, and doing that, is against the terms of service or the sporting code or whatever. You know, taking advantage of an exploit in order to gain an advantage. So that is protestable, but it's kind of like, you know, you've got 10 people doing it. <laughs> it's kind of outnumbered. I'm not going to I'm not even going to be one of the people that's going to be a big scrooge and start protesting 20 people at once. Anyway, as much as I don't like seeing it, <sighs> I don't know. This is my first race I'm doing, though. I did do a fair bit of practice um, a couple nights ago, but the race didn't go official. So I didn't get to actually do the race. Looks like we have qualified 7th, so right in the middle there. That's probably bad. <laughs> 
Um, I lowered my steering ratio 8 to 1 and lowered my force feedback. Just uh, doing that stuff. Kind of stuff I learned from watching Nick. It was obviously much better with dirt oval type stuff. So I probably would have never even tried dirt oval <laughs> had I not learned a lot from watching him do it. We haven't got that data. So we will do session last lap. Maybe get get an idea of how the track's evolving. I hope we get a good group here. I'm not sure what we're gonna get, to be honest. It's not single split, at least. It's off work today, so I'm not racing at 1 a.m. like I so often do. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I think even if I have a bad race here, it's not going to change my mind. I think I still would want to give this more of a fair shot. Um, if the combo itself, if Arca on dirt itself is not a problem, but rather it's the people driving, taking advantage of exploits, and you know, low participation, for example, being problems, well, I'm not so sure that's a reason to give up on it if ARCA does dirt oval in real life. I think it's up to iRacing to fix these exploits, and I think it's, whoa, I think it's up to uh, the drivers to do a better job. I think the guy in front of us blinked out, by the way, so I think we just gained a couple spots from qualifying. That's interesting. Suddenly we qualified fifth, I guess? I don't feel like I belong up here. I'll be completely honest with you. I have the feeling I'm going to absolutely destroy it from behind. No idea where the fifth place qualifier went. I don't know if they lagged out. I didn't see them disconnect at the top. One to go. Next time by. Oh, that's kind of weird. I guess starting Catch second gear. Obviously, don't want to spin up the tires too much. <sighs> Lots of unknowns going on here. We'll see what happens. Going green. Trying not to heat up the tires real bad right off the start. Side. You're in fourth position. Trying to keep it smooth. Kind of just driving in the slick. I probably shouldn't be doing that. Not mean to do that at the whatever you call it, berm, I think. That shows you my dirt oval experience, don't even know what things are called. Clear high. Hit that bottom thing you're not supposed to hit though. That's the gist of it. Thankfully I survived. Car outside. Outside clear. Oh, let's do it some more. I stink. Was that 24.8? 
Six. You're getting hit. Don't appreciate that. Gap to Jensen ahead is now 1.5 seconds. Inside. Clear. B5. Gonna get s slide job in front of us. <sighs> this is what I'm talking about. No respect at all. Slams into the wall. No consequences. The leader's just done at 23.5. That lap time was 24.7. This bottom line's kind of working a little bit. Just trying to be really patient on the throttle. I'm probably not even doing that, though. I have a real bad habit of getting hard on the throttle, even when I think I'm being patient on it. You're doing okay, though. Especially as the number nine. That's one positive thing about having a lower dirt oval I rating. I'm not the number one or two for once. Oh, shoot. I didn't even know he was out there. Sorry, man, I didn't even realize you were out there. I need to pay attention. Car inside. Clear inside. That lap was at 25.0. Inside. Clear inside. Okay, so we're trying to get this higher line going. Smooth, not doing anything too crazy with the throttle, for example. Low car up high. High. It's a lap car, so you're not going to gain anything from it. That's bad. <laughs> that was ugly. Trying to take a lower line and kind of went overboard with it. Thankfully, I kept the thing under control. The gap behind is now not down. down low. Step down low. Slow car down low. Looks like he's going again. Got some wall riding ahead, though that might not even be intentional. This hasn't been so bad. Seem okay. Sixth place. Very happy with that. Such a long race. It's just me, though, I'm sure. Because. Oh, this is so uncomfortable for me. Can't really ever get in a rhythm. I'm constantly worried about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. No chance to kind of just get into a rhythm and zone out, even just a little bit. <laughs> Nice little low line there. Car outside. Clear high. Car outside. Clear outside. I think I'm doing okay with tire heat. I'm not smashing on the throttle. I was trying not to. It should be doing okay. The gap behind is now 1.2 seconds. You've 
just done a 24.5. And to position my car in the right spot so that I'm not just completely in this slick, although I am kind of driving in it a little bit. Kind of making sure I'm not on the throttle very hard while I'm in it, and instead on the uh, fresher part of the track using more throttle. Okay, he kind of cut down there. That was scary. He's definitely throttling it up hard. Hey, we, maybe we can get a top five. We'll see what happens. Let me try this top higher line now. The lap time was at twenty-four point seven. Not sure. Dump all that. Do have a guy pretty close behind. I can't get too complacent for sure. I have to remember to look in my rear view mirror too. I'm so worried about what I'm doing because it's so difficult to control this thing. I gotta remember to look in my rear view mirror a little bit. Hitting the wall without much consequence. Okay, Colton, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Good consistency. Keep them coming. You're reeling, gents. In. The gap's now 0.5. Okay, almost get hooked. I mean, we did get hooked. Inside, you're up top, three wide. Right side, two wide. Clear inside, inside. you're back in fifth. Tom. You're up top, three wide. Right side, two wide. For now to be inside. <laughs> Get it off the wall. Alright, they passed me. This that guy hooked me. I got stuck out on the outside for a while. Seven okay. Low and slow. <laughs> Not sure how it's working here, but Not so much. Not so great. <laughs> the gap behind is now one point zero. Into the wall. Don't do that. Track is definitely slick. Getting up there on that cushion up there. It's definitely getting the car unsettled. You could use it to your advantage and go fast, but I am not even close to comfortable enough to even try risking that. So that's some tightrope walking. I'm trying to pull that off. The gap ahead is now 1.0 seconds. Alright, looks like these guys are maybe a little faster. That's okay. Don't try to get more than I'm capable of and keep up with them and end up wrecking myself. Seventh place is more than acceptable for me. I thought I was going to be one of the slowest out here, to be honest. I'm usually so bad with stock cars on dirt. Oh, no. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm really glad there's no one around me right now. I'm a mess. That last lap 
Slot was at 25.1. This is it's pretty fun though. It's yeah, definitely fun to drive. I'm kind of scared to have to drive around other people, but people around us were doing pretty good. I mean, this is so hard to control. Can't can't blame anybody for getting into getting into just a little bit. I haven't seen too much exploitation. Um, not as much as I was expecting, anyway. I'm sure we'll see plenty in the incidents, though. I'm sure, like, the leader's probably doing it if I had to... Oh! Oh my god, that was scary. Okay. Don't know how I even managed to dodge that. We are in the top five. What bizarro world are we living in? Pretty much all tracks slicked off at this point. <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm getting the hang of it though. Kind of like feeling a little more comfortable. Um, I feel like I've done an okay job not smashing on the throttle this race. The leader is pitting now. Meatball flag? Oh, hi. Where on earth did he come from? The car inside. Clear inside. So, the leader is pitting now, and we're in third? What is going on? Okay, well, we're going now, I guess? Maybe the leader was wall riding and got a meatball flag, or maybe just hit the wall and got a meatball flag, not even... Okay, well, that's cool. Inside, clear inside. How much you can do about that? Clear. All right, Colton, you're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now. So I guess we're fine for now. I got stuck in the wall. That's kind of gross. Alright, we're still top five. We were top three for a brief moment of glory, but... I will be upset if this lap car wrecks me, though. It's approaching in a scary manner. That was pushed. It's okay. Two left to go. Two to go. Car outside. Clear outside. It's gotta go away. This is what I was talking about. There's, I'm seeing a lot of lack of respect. Lap cars wall riding and then driving alongside lead lap guys. It's just not necessary in any situation. Glad we didn't get a meatball flag running into the guy that stopped on track. P5. One more lap to go. I'm not taking anything for granted, though. Anything can happen. White flag. One more to go. You've just done a 24.9. Hmm. Well, go around one final corner. Here's the five that nearly killed us, but we have survived. And, uh, welcome to Bizarro World. I just got a top five on Dirt Oval. 
<laughs> in the Arca car. That is interesting. Okay, it's over. Well done, mate. Good finish. Chicken flag. Chicken flag. Okay, slamming on the brakes. Can't slow down too well on this thing, man. Very good job. <laughs> interesting. Fourth. Okay, we got fourth then. I don't know how, but we got fourth. And the Bizarro gets Bizarro-er. Good line. Okay, anyway. 173, 199 with attempts. <laughs> Somehow I managed to get my right rear at 97. Probably means I was using too much throttle, but... Hey, I will take it. Just a 2x. Be interesting to see what happened to some of these guys. Like the number two, I think, was dominating the race. And then had the pit for whatever reason. That was not nearly as bad as I thought, though. It might be because I was able to stay away from some troublesome people. I don't know what's happening in the back. We're about to find out, but that was pretty fun. I thought that was okay. Oh, we'll see. We'll take a look. That's a poor start. Maybe this is why we weren't getting destroyed from behind. Because there were no one there was no one behind us. Sorry, this is a bit loud. Turn down a little bit. What happened? Wow, the 11 just runs over the 7, it looks like, and then there goes pretty much the entire field. So, 11. This is a guy I accidentally tapped and then apologized to. <laughs> wow, that's half the field gone immediately. I didn't even see that happen. That stinks. Some guys didn't even make it to the green flag. We got the 11 hitting the wall. Here's a 3. They were definitely wall riding. I saw plenty of that. That is the exploit I'm talking about. Just driving up there and using the right rear to stay up there. And it doesn't do any damage. It doesn't hurt you. It, in fact, makes you faster. That's the part I don't like. Batman. <laughs> tiny bit of the wall there. I might have to go through these kind of quick. Um, but we're going to be all, here all day watching all the wall hits. Three, full throttling it into the corner, running into the back of the 15. These are the people that are making it where we might not be able to do this again. Nearly comes against me. Yeah, yes, I remember. His slide job right into the wall. Okay. Squiggly there. 11. See, these look like genuine accidents. That's not like them doing it on purpose, like the three is. That's understandable. And either way, it's all on iRacing. They have to fix what they're doing. They have to fix something to make this not possible. Very tore chunk off the 11. Ooh, bouncing off the wall. Yeah, see, they should be much more damaged than from all that. Should be parts of their car ripped off. Ooh, this is where I hit him. So he had a slow exit up the corner. I guess that's how I ended up out there. I swear I didn't even get like a two wide call though, unless I just forgot he was out there because he was out there for so long. But uh, I gave him a tap there. I think he didn't do anything really to either of us. So. No harm done on a link. Yeah, I think the two's just good. I don't think they're wall riding. They're kind of using that cushion up there, it seems like. They're getting around a lap right now. But it seems like they're able to... Well, not right there. 
but for the most part able to keep the right rear kind of just right on that cushion. And that's just, I don't see any problem with that. They're not bouncing off the wall. They're just good. <laughs> so I'm curious what happened to them. But that stings because I think they were legitimately earning a win there. Accidental wall hits, seems like. Not too many people exploiting here. I'm kind of proud of the field we have. <laughs> we got a couple of interesting characters, but... Seems like, for the most part, guys are being good. <laughs> that certainly went so much better than I expected. Not only in terms of my own performance, but... Um, just in the quality of drivers that we got. Truly bizarre world when I'm complimenting dirt oval racing. <laughs> Levin's using the wall a little bit. Seems like at this point in the race they've kind of decided they're just going to ride up there, maybe. Nah. Seems like they're still going. Tins pushing the nose real bad, it looks like. Couldn't get it turned all of a sudden. And they're going off a ramp. Whoa, where are you going? Hello, official. Just saying hello to his friend. His pal Stanley, right there. Tins getting trouble, having trouble getting it turned. Drifting up into the wall. Ooh, five hits the wall hard. This is the guy that eventually got caught on the wall, and then I had nowhere to go but into him. We'll see that eventually. Sixteen the wall. Fourteen. In the wall hard. They're just riding all the way around. I should be able to get away with that. Wall Rider McGee up here in second place. So this is what you do to win, I guess. Did he end up winning? No, he had trouble. And there it is, maybe. Nope, not yet. Maybe he did eventually <laughs> receive consequences. Seven. Was it maybe the seven? The seven looks very similar to the five. Can't remember who I hit. I thought I hit the five, but I might be wrong. <laughs> Eleven. Driving all kinds of wild. Ooh, 18 bounces off the wall pretty hard. 14 able to get it turned down. That could have been bad. Seven on the wall pretty hard. Ooh, they get stuck up there real bad. Yeah. Eleven may not be actively wall riding, but they're certainly not worried about hitting the wall. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Still, I racing? Can't let people get get away with that. Every corner. Wall Raider McGee is still up here in second for now. Batman. Gotta move a little faster now. Wait until maybe we see some uh, groups of cars, or maybe when, uh... Ooh, yeah, there's this thing that happens sometimes. People get stuck in the wall. Five gets turned a little bit. Hooked. Whew. 
ha 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 ha. Oh, you love to see it. He is now blown engine, McGee. Is this the one I hit? No, oh, he just spins out right here. Huh. Eleven. Oh! I forgot that happened. Yeah, wall rating looks like it does bite you eventually. Two, the two guys that were doing it the most both suffered eventually because of it. Oh, that's right. I had to, I had to really narrowly avoid that. He used brake for the first time in the race. See the guy flipping over, and I'm like, <laughs> that man spinning, self spin, right up into the high lane. Rolling around. He's alright. Oh, okay, the two gets in the wall and blows into the engine. So, f from what I'm understanding, this happened to Gavin in his race, too. From what I'm understanding, from what Nick said, it sounds like whenever you get up on this cushion here, like this, you run the risk of, like, tearing up the bottom of the car, and that can cause your engine to blow. And so that's what you're seeing here when guys are against the wall and all of a sudden the engine just explodes. It's because the underside of the car is getting ripped apart. And in certain circumstances, it can kill your car. So. Another reason not to be doing this wall riding. I don't think the fire did that on purpose, though. Mm-hmm. Is he broken? Is that what he's doing? Okay, this is when I hit him. So what, is he broken? What happens here? So he runs on the wall this lap, and it's looking like, like he can't turn at all. Is he missing a tire or anything? Oh, no, well, looks like it's all there. He just is not turning at all, and then gets caught right there. And then obviously I'm not someone... I'm not expecting someone to go from... 40 to 0 in 0 seconds. I'm already committed to the high line here. Nothing I can do. Thankfully, we're only going about 30 miles an hour. And then we get hit by this guy who also had nowhere to go. Whoa! He kind of fared okay, though. <laughs> he got to drive right on through. And then we eventually get past this six again. The so two, despite having to come to the pits to get a fast repair, is still an eighth. I didn't realize how many few people finished on the lead lap. Holy cow. Only the top five finished on the lead lap. That's something. Hmm. Too threatening to do the same thing to himself again. Here's your uh, leader and eventual winner. And to go on to win, he did. So, so I don't. How did I. This guy get incidents? No, he was zero incidents. How did I pass someone randomly at the end? Was it this guy? Did I pass this guy at the end? I mean, obviously I did. This is after the race is over. I don't understand. Okay, so this is white flag. Right? Okay. Goes into the final corner. Gets it pretty sideways. And that's the checkered flag. Why did I finish in front of him? He must have had some sort of penalty that put him... You know what? He must have had a meatball flag put him at the end of the, that lap, I guess. Is that the only explanation? I don't know why I finished ahead of this guy. I must be missing something. 
So clearly, you now we're coming to the checkered right here. Huh, that's weird. Well, anyway, that's a P4, um, surprisingly. Started 7th. That went so much better than I expected. Um, you know, we actually had a handful of people with 0x. Even the guy that got up under the wall and killed his car blew the engine and got a 0x. That's kind of funny. Interesting you can blow your engine and get a 0x. I mean, obviously, you didn't really deserve one, I guess, but it's kind of funny. And uh, pull off a 2x, just ran into the one guy who got caught in the, in the fence. And uh, honestly, that was pretty fun. Um, it was a decent group of guys, it seems like. Not too many people trying to be exploitative of damage model and stuff. And the people that were uh, actually received some consequences, so... I am A-OK -okay with how that went. I actually quite enjoyed that. And I hope we could continue doing this in the future. Um, I think I'm convinced that I, I think we should give this more of a chance. But uh, that's just me. And obviously, my experience here leaves me biased. <laughs> but like I said beforehand, I was thinking maybe we should keep doing it anyway. Even if this did go bad, so... Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, some Arca on dirt action for the first time ever in official racing. I liked it. <laughs> See you next time.